all right good day everyone and welcome to my channel once again all things simple you're welcome 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 today we're going to be continuing from our uh, recent topic which we we, we discussed which says how to scan documents into jpeg or pdf using cam scanner part two on the other video we discussed how to scan documents into jpeg or pdf using cam scanner but we dwelt on single documents so in this video we're going to be dwelling on multiple documents how do you scan multiple documents into jpeg or pdf using cam scanner so that's what we're going to be dwelling on today in that last video i told you that there, there are differences you know you know by which we do this scanning using cam scanner so before we go further practically before we dive in i would like to appeal to you to please subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed before please do well to subscribe to this channel it is your own way of encouraging us okay quickly we will not need to go through all the introductions again and all the suggestions for best quality you already know that in the last video how you should position your camera when you want to snap your your, your paper documents the hard copy form you already know uh, that you need to snap in a place where there is bright light or more uh, better still uh, natural light so all of those you already know in, in, the, in the in the first video in the part one of this video so now quickly let's rush over to cam scanner because we're now we're not going to be wasting much time rush over to cam scanner and uh, enter into cam scanner so that we can do our multiple document scanning so quickly you already know this is the home page of cam scanner and you already know that uh, uh, round or circular icon there that has a camera icon inside of it you already know that that's the place to tap on when you want to begin your scanning just as the first one we did single document scanning so i tap on this camera icon now it takes me to where i can now either snap using cam scanner camera or I import images that I've already snapped before. I told you earlier that I prefer to snap you know, with my phone camera before I ever think of coming to Cam Scanner to scan the document. So now I already have the documents, the multiple documents scanned, I mean snapped on my phone. So all I need to do is to tap on the import images here. I tap on import images. It takes me to uh, where I can now locate the documents that I want to scan. But then if you look here, that's what is what the, the, the photos you see here comprises of all my photos, all my photos, you know, in my gallery. And many times it will be difficult for us to begin to navigate through, you know, these many, many photos to want to uh, locate where uh, my, my intended photo is saved so since it is camera you know i used in snapping this document it therefore means that the photos will be saved under camera in my camera folder so all i need to do is to tap on this little drop down this green little drop down that just close to select photo at the the, the, the top left corner there i tap on it and then it brings up options for me you know my folders you know if you can you can see now at the top here is where it is now it is all photos but then i go to camera so that's where i know that the documents i want to scan is saved so i go to camera tap on camera and then i begin to to tap to select the what's it called now the documents that i want to scan so i tap one i tap two no i remove that one I tap two, I tap three. So I say, so let's say these are the these are the documents that I want to scan. Three of them. Yours could be more than three, but at least if it is more than one, 
then we know that that is it qualifies for multiple so now we have you are done selecting the documents that, that you we want to scan now look over at the bottom of your screen you will see at the the down left corner and at the down right corner there are two things there one says magic color that's for the filter if you tap the little the, uh, uh, angle or the little triangle button the little tri triangle icon that is just close to the magic color there it will pop out it will, it will pop up the different filters that are available for you to use in this your your scanning that we're about to do then if you look again at the top i mean at the down right corner it says auto crop the reason for auto crop is very simple when we did the singular um scanning when we tap on import at the top right corner there when we tap on tap on import Cam scanner takes us to the place where we can now crop the document manually by ourselves. We can crop the document manually by ourselves, so we can now begin to drag those lines, you know, you know, to fit in the way we we want it to be. But most of the times, you do not need to drag those lines because, like as I said before, if your angles are correct, you snap the documents, you know, in the correct angle. Cam scanner will will. 99 percent of the time get the the cropping correctly without you having to to really do anything so now this auto crop is different from uh the one that that we did in the singular scanning in the sense that cam scanner will just do the cropping by itself it will not bring up the place the part where you have to now manually crop it by yourself it is cam scanner that will just crop it and just process it over to whatever filter that has been set that is the reason why this magic color this filter at the down left corner here is here so that you can select what you want what kind of filter that you want and i told us before that magic color is the best filter so if, if i should tap that little triangle now you see it pops up it, it pops out so you see the different filters that you can choose from magic color lighting original no shadow grayscale b and w echo of course we want to use magic color so i leave it at magic color there so now auto crop i leave it at auto crop so you leave yours at auto crop too so now next thing to do is to tap on import at the top right corner there so when i tap on import just watch now what comes can i will do normally in the singular scanning it will take us straight down to where we can now begin to drag those lines you know for cropping but then cam scanner for multiple documents will do this we will do everything we, we apply the filter it will do the cropping all at once for you without you having to do anything and i told you before if your position your angle your angles when you snap that document if your angles are right you have nothing to worry about so you can see all of the three documents now has been scanned for me without me having to stress myself all i needed to do was to select the three of them and cam scanner does the rest so now if i should tap on any of them now you see you can see it's it's, it's very clear and the angles are correct it's not bent or in any way if i should go to over to the next one you see it's very sharp and well positioned it is straight go to the other one you see the same the same thing everything is is good and fine and, and okay so all i need to do now when you have you are done scanning the document the multiple documents you want to now save the documents same way we saved for the singular document is the same way we do this one we'll go over to more at the down right corner there the down right corner you see the three dots there that says more tap on it sorry let me drag this one up so that it does not disturb us so more tap on more so it brings up options for you on how you can either save you know and do whatever you want to do like i told us before if it is jpeg that you want to save it as you want to save it as photos on your phone 
you tap on save to gallery it will automatically save it to your gallery as jpeg in jpeg format if you want to save in pdf format you tap on print and then you do the remaining uh, setups that you need to do just the same way we did for the singular document scanning you tap on print and it saves to pdf for you then next thing that i want us to dwell on is how to edit the document how to edit documents say we have multiple documents here now that has already been scanned for us by cam scanner but then as we began to expand each document one by one to check whether they are you know to our taste to specific according to the according to our own specification whether we like the way it is showing or how the scanning has come out as we begin to check maybe we find out that oh this one i don't i don't like the way this one is answered i don't like the way this one is is looking it's not looking really well the way i want it to be so i want to now recrop i want to recrop it so now you can either tap on on each one as it is like this you can tap on them you can tap on them and then when you tap you, you just look down here down on your screen at the down right corner down right corner you will see crop when you tap on crop it now takes you to where you can now do the manual editing by yourself again so you see it so it's already here so let's say i'm already done with the manual editing you know i've corrected it the way i wanted it to be maybe cam scanner instead of uh, doing it the way it was before in the first place it was not like this so a part of the carpet as you can see here was not showing maybe you don't like that so you cannot drag it back you know and bring it to the position where you want it to be so when you are done with that you now tap on next at the, the, the down right corner the next tap on next so then come scanner will then scan it for you again so if you want to choose any of the filter say you don't like magic color then you can go ahead to choose any of the filter for me it is magic color so when i'm done with that i now tap on the check button here you know for us to save uh, what we have scanned you know this check button at the down right corner there i tap on it it takes us back to where we are coming from good and fine but then you don't want to be going through like that singular 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 you know tapping on each of them to go and crop you know then you go again you tap on another one to go and crop and choose filter that you want maybe that's not what you want but you, want, you just want to you know edit everything at once you want to you want to, you want to have opportunity to edit everything at once so, so that once, once you are done with editing one the other one comes in you edit the other one comes in you edit without having you without you having to uh going back to begin to tap on the documents one after the other what the way you can do that is that you tap on more you see this more that we tap on when we wanted to save the documents tap on more and then just look close to on the on the same line where print save to gallery is you will see at the last the the, the the last one there at the end there you will see batch edits batch edits that's what you tap on when you want to edit everything at a time you don't want to be stressing yourself to be going back and forth you know tapping on single document and then you crop if you add filter you come back again you you crop you have you add filter again no you don't want that you want all at once so you tap on batch edits when you tap on batch edits you click on ok when you click on ok you see now all the doc the three documents have been checked that you want to edit all of them you tap on you either so you, you either tap on crop or filter because really when we want to edit it is two things cropping and filter when you want to scan two things it is cropping and filter that's what cam scanner offers you when you are actually scanning in the first place it is to crop the documents you know to taste and then filter adding filter to it those are the two things that cam scanner offers you when you are scanning so 
this is what we want to do now so all the documents have been checked for us you can see them you can see them at the top there you see those check buttons check buttons one two three there looking at us there so now look down on your screen you will see left right crop filter and then the button to save when you are done editing so let's tap on crop and we tap on crop you go ahead to do the corrections that you want to make you know rearrange the angles you know from these lines and then when you are done you swipe to the next one you rearrange then you swipe to the other one you rearrange the way you want it to be then when you are done with that you tap on the check button that's looking at you there at the, the down right corner to see that you are done cropping so when that is done you now want to select filter select filter and then you choose any of the filters that you want so let's say i've already chosen magic color so i've already chosen magic color then when i'm done with the edit that i'm doing and then tap on the check button there to save this check button that's just close to filter the down right corner i tap on it and then my editing is done so when you're done with your editing you can now go on to save if you have not saved before so save to pdf save as pdf you click on print you tap on print it takes you to where you can now select the way you want it to be other colored portrait landscape black and white letter or a4 size you know in terms of paper size you choose any of them then you save and then you you, you name the documents rather then you save then if you want to do jpeg you want it to be saved as jpeg you tap on save to gallery and you are good to go with this we have come to the end of this lesson thank you very much for watching i believe you have learned so much and a lot from this two videos that i've posted about cam scanner helping you to scan your documents the way to help you to be effective in your office you know as a clerk as an administrative assistant or maybe a lawyer or whatever especially as a lawyer you want to send documents to a client to check to see if the deed or whatever process you have written is okay to their taste to them they can make corrections and send back to you and you know you are good to go you don't need to be uh, sending paper you know through courier service like that so thank you very much for for watching to the end and i appeal to you once again to please subscribe to this channel if you have not already subscribed and turn on your notification button so that you are alerted when new videos drop thank you very much